Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. All right, as we're going through and adding the other uh, fluid containers, we're gonna have to look at how we add these div tags, okay? So watch this, I'm gonna go to live view and I'm gonna delete this text by selecting it all and deleting it and then click out and I've got my band hero selected now if I go and add another container fluid we get this guy the before after wrapper nest now and um, what do they mean I'm gonna add this extra fluid um, container and I want it to be underneath so what I've got selected I've got band hero if I want it underneath I say I want it after the thing I've got selected if I want it in front of it I'd say before the tag I've got selected now, these two here are the interesting ones. Um, wrap means I'm going to make a wrapper around the outside. So I'm gonna put this initial hero band inside the one that I'm making. So it's gonna go wrap it around, the one I'm making is wrapping around the outside. Nested means I would like to put one inside of it. So I'm gonna put this container fluid inside this original container fluid, and this is not what I wanna do. Okay, there are times where you do wanna nest and you do wanna wrap, okay? But at the moment, I just want them just after, please. You'll see down here, I've got this new fluid con um, fluid container, okay, and he's arrest uh, he's kind of ended up underneath. Now, if you've picked the wrong option, no problem, and um, you could either undo, okay, edit undo, or you can go into code view. You'll see here. There's my div tag for my container uh, for my band hero, and there's this extra one. Now, if he was nested, I would go cut. You can see in here he's inside this div. He then end up in the wrong place, hiding inside. Okay, so here's the beginning, and there is, if I click on it once actually, Dreamweaver's really good at highlighting, there's the opening of that band hero and the close. So he is nested, he is inside this one here, it's not what I want. Okay, so what I could do is if I got that wrong, I can select them all, go to the beginning and end of this guy. Now if you're unsure what the beginning and end is, click the beginning, and Dreamweaver's quite good at highlighting the whole tag beginning to end. So I'm gonna grab you, and go to edit, cut, Okay, and I'm gonna use my uh, backspace key just to bring that back up. And underneath, I'm gonna put him underneath. So he is now after. Okay, if you wanted before, I'd cut him. And put a return in just in front. And you can see here, I can paste him. And now he's before. So that container, let's go to live view. You'll see he's just above, okay, my hero band. But I wanna go back again. So I'm gonna go back to code view. And I wanna put him back where I got him. You, my friend, go under here. Now you'll see I put returns in all the time in code view. It doesn't matter. Uh, returns, you can put in as much. I like to keep everything nice and clean and tidy. Um, so returns don't make anything, uh, any real difference to the code. Right, so now we're gonna go through and add all the different uh, fluid containers and we'll do that in the production video next. Hey there. Remember, this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link down below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da da.